Tensions are rising in southern Italy as the landscape above the Campi Flegre caldera shows alarming signs of renewed volcanic activity. In the town of Pozzuoli, an area long known for its geothermal unrest, a stretch of recently repaired pavement has once again fractured and sunk. Beneath the asphalt, superheated gases have forced their way to the surface, melting through the tar and releasing columns of sulphur-rich steam. The unmistakable smell of volcanic gases now lingers across the hillsides, prompting concern among locals and scientists alike. This event is not isolated. The area has experienced a sharp increase in seismic activity, with over two dozen earthquakes ranging from small tremors to one of the most powerful quakes since the Monte Nuovo eruption of 1538, striking the region on the same day the road buckled. The ongoing seismic swarms are consistent with patterns observed during previous volcanic crises, suggesting that the system beneath Campi Flegre is becoming increasingly unstable. Residents living along Via Antiniana are particularly anxious. This road cuts across a zone dense with fumaroles, vents that emit hot steam and gases from deep underground. Many fear that these steam vents are not only increasing in temperature and pressure, but also migrating. Observations suggest that what was once a localised hotspot may now be part of a broader geothermal expansion, potentially caused by deeper magma movement or intensifying ground deformation. The land in this region has been steadily rising, a phenomenon known as Bradyseism since 2005. Over that time it has lifted more than 5 feet or 1.5 metres, a striking change that has altered the coastline itself. The harbour of Pozzuoli is now too shallow for ferries to dock as they once did, a direct consequence of this geological upheaval. Currently, the monthly uplift rate stands at approximately 0.6 inches or 1.5 centimetres, with spikes occurring during earthquake swarms. Scientists from Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, have begun speaking more openly about their growing concerns. In a recent press briefing, senior geophysicists admitted the risk of an eruption, possibly phreatic in nature, cannot be dismissed. Phreatic eruptions occur when groundwater comes into contact with intensely hot rock or magma, causing violent steam-driven explosions. In Campi Flegre's history, such eruptions have sometimes served as precursors to larger magmatic events. What's particularly troubling is that phreatic eruptions often strike without warning. Unlike magmatic eruptions, which tend to build pressure over time and produce more obvious precursors, steam-driven explosions can erupt through weakened ground suddenly and catastrophically. The terrain here is riddled with such weak points. Repeated breaches in the road, despite resurfacing efforts, may indicate that deeper forces are undermining the very stability of the land. Many local geologists have expressed frustration with how the situation is being publicly downplayed. While efforts to preserve the tourism economy are understandable, experts argue that withholding or minimizing data can delay critical emergency responses. Some have pointed out that the latest fumarole damage occurred in the same spot where officials previously claimed the cause was a man-made sinkhole, a statement now under intense scrutiny. There is still uncertainty about the exact source of these fumaroles. It remains unclear whether they are new formations or ancient vents that have recently reactivated. What is clear is that the activity is not subsiding. Observers report that the road damage is occurring in a linear sequence, as if a network of subterranean heat sources is gradually marching toward the surface. The debate continues. Are we witnessing the result of a single mobile fumarole cutting through a geologic fault, or is the entire slope of the Solfatara area shifting due to expanding geothermal pressure? Some experts suggest that the land may be gliding over a stable thermal source, its fragile surface giving way under the cumulative strain of gas and magma movement. While scientists continue to model various scenarios, preliminary estimates based on recent data analysis suggest that there may be a significant probability, possibly as high as 60%, that eruptive activity could resume within the year. This projection, while not conclusive, is based on a convergence of escalating warning signs, frequent seismic swarms, rising temperatures, expanding gas emissions and continuous ground uplift. The supervolcano of Campi Flegre is no longer dormant, 
Since 2005, the current Brady seismic crisis has lasted far longer than previous episodes, with more earthquakes and stronger tremors reaching magnitudes up to 4.6 on the Richter scale. Volcanic gases rich in sulphur dioxide and carbon dioxide are escaping in quantities far above normal, another indicator of magmatic unrest. Scientists stress that while a large eruption might still be years away, the current trajectory is troubling. With each earthquake swarm and fumarolic breach, the land becomes more brittle, the pressure mounts, and the potential for a sudden event increases. Landslides have already been recorded during tremor clusters, raising concerns about secondary hazards beyond eruption alone. Let's check back on what happened in the past. Bradyseism, meaning slow ground movement, is a phenomenon most notably observed in the Campi Flegre Caldera, located just west of Naples, Italy. This region, home to over 500,000 people, sits atop one of the most geologically active volcanic systems in the world. The slow rising and falling of the ground, sometimes by several feet or meters over months or years, has long puzzled scientists and terrified local populations. While these ground movements have been recorded for centuries, it's only in recent decades that researchers have started to uncover the hidden dynamics deep beneath the surface that drive this phenomenon. Today, Bradyseism is understood as the surface expression of complex and sometimes dangerous processes occurring several miles or kilometers underground, involving magmatic gases, fluid migration, and structural weaknesses in the Earth's crust. Scientific interest in Campi Flegre intensified during the significant unrest episodes of 1969 to 1972 and 1982 to 1984, when the ground in the town of Pozzuoli rose by about 1.7 metres, approximately 5.6 feet, and 1.8 metres, about 5.9 feet respectively. These events forced the evacuation of tens of thousands of residents and led to fears of an imminent eruption. However, no eruption occurred. This led scientists to question whether magma was actually rising toward the surface or if something else was causing the uplift. In 2009, a breakthrough came when researchers used thermodynamic and geophysical modelling to show that these uplift events could be explained by the ascent of superheated fluids and gases, mostly water vapour and carbon dioxide, from a deep magmatic reservoir located around 3 to 5 kilometres, 1.9 to 3.1 miles, beneath the surface. These gases, rather than magma itself, moved into the overlying hydrothermal system, pressurizing it and causing the ground above to swell. The idea that gas, not lava, could move mountains was a game-changer for volcanic science. Further advances were made in 2018, when researchers from the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, and the University of Campania Luigi Van Vitelli revisited the causes of more recent ground deformation, particularly the ongoing uplift that began in the early 2000s. Their research showed that the newer episodes of Bradyseism differed from the earlier ones in a key way. The gases responsible were likely rising from even deeper depths, about 7 to 8 kilometres, 4.3 to 5 miles, rather than the shallower sources involved in the 1980s. This new understanding shifted the focus away from magma movement toward long-term accumulation and pressurization of volatile gases. Crucially, this meant that the risk of eruption, while still present, might not be as immediate as previously feared during short-term uplift episodes. The deformation was being caused more by invisible pressure changes than by any imminent magma breach. By 2022, a clearer picture of the magmatic plumbing system beneath Campi Flegre began to emerge. A comprehensive geophysical study revealed the presence of not one, but two magmatic reservoirs. The deeper reservoir lies between 12 and 16 kilometers, 7.5 to 10 miles, underground, and serves as the primary source of magma. The shallower chamber, positioned around 7 to 8 kilometers, 4.3 to 5 miles, below the surface, acts as a kind of middleman, receiving magma and gas from the deeper source and feeding pressurized fluids upward into the hydrothermal system. This two-level configuration helps explain why ground movement can occur even in the absence of fresh magma rising to the surface. Gases from the deeper source pressurize the system without ever forming a visible lava flow, 
resulting in uplift and occasional subsidence as pressure is released. A major addition to the understanding of Campiflegre came in 2025, when a study linked to the Love CF project discovered a structurally weak layer within the Earth's crust at a depth of 2.5 to 2.7 kilometers, about 1.5 to 1.7 miles. This brittle zone functions like a cap or bottleneck. When gas and fluid pressure build up beneath it, they cause the ground above to rise. But if the pressure exceeds the strength of the weak zone, it could fracture, potentially allowing magma or superheated fluids to rush upward in a sudden and possibly explosive event. This discovery added a mechanical explanation for why some uplift episodes accelerate rapidly while others dissipate. It also offers a critical diagnostic tool for volcanic hazard assessment. Monitoring stress and changes near this layer may help forecast the transition from passive ground deformation to a full-blown eruption. Supporting these geological findings are seismic data collected during the period of increased unrest from 2021 to 2024. During these years, Campi Flegre experienced frequent seismic swarms, bursts of small to moderate earthquakes concentrated in brief time frames and narrow geographic zones. A 2025 study published in Nature Communications Earth and Environment analyzed these patterns and found a strong correlation between the seismic activity and the movement of pressurized fluids through faulted zones in the crust. Unlike typical tectonic earthquakes, which are often the result of stress from plate motion, these swarms were linked to fluid and gas migration. The seismic bursts, when aligned with deformation and gas emission data, indicate that the entire volcanic system is under increasing internal pressure, with conditions becoming more volatile over time. But the most striking and tangible evidence of Bradyseism is not found in satellite data or underground sensors, it's right in the streets, homes and ruins of Pozzuoli and surrounding towns. The urban landscape bears the scars of this restless caldera. Roads have buckled, Sidewalks have cracked and entire buildings show fractures in their walls due to the relentless upward and downward push of the earth. The Macellum of Pozzuoli, an ancient Roman marketplace once misidentified as the Temple of Serapis, is a living marker of this phenomenon. Its columns bear rings of marine shell encrustations up to seven meters, about 23 feet high evidence that the ground has repeatedly sunk and risen over centuries, allowing seawater to flood the area before being lifted again above sea level. Perhaps the most dramatic example of Bradyseism's impact on city life is Rayon Terra, the historic core of Pozzuoli, which was evacuated and completely abandoned in the early 1970s due to rapid ground uplift. Cracks split buildings from floor to ceiling, Doors warped out of alignment and gas emissions seeped through weakened foundations. In recent years, seismic swarms have continued to shake the area. A magnitude 4.4 quake in May 2024 caused more damage, cracked walls, collapsed ceilings and prompted the closure of schools. Authorities temporarily evacuated residents and deployed emergency tents for displaced families. Around 9,000 buildings are now classified as vulnerable to seismic and Brady seismic stress, with at least 160 families evacuated in recent months due to structural instability. Fumaroles, vents that release volcanic gas, add another layer of threat. Areas like Solfatara and Picciarelli constantly emit sulfur-rich steam that damages local roads, corrodes infrastructure and poses health risks. The Solfatara crater, once a tourist attraction, was closed indefinitely in 2017 after a tragic ground collapse incident. Today, sensors and exclusion zones guard the area, but the fumes continue to affect nearby neighbourhoods. Roads have been closed and schools in some zones have installed air filtration systems to counter elevated carbon dioxide levels. These emissions, linked to ongoing Brady seismic activity, are a visible and sometimes noxious reminder that the ground below is far from dormant. Residents now live with the daily uncertainty of a landscape that moves beneath their feet. Some homes have gaping cracks along ceilings and walls. Videos shared online show brick debris on floors and shattered windows from tremors. Emergency teams routinely respond to reports of gas odours or sudden wall fissures, and building inspections are part of life in affected areas. 
The city has become a testing ground for real-time volcanic risk management, where the social fabric is as stressed as the crust itself. Taken together, the visible and scientific evidence paints a sobering picture. Bredisism at Campi Flegre is not an abstract geological concept, but an active force reshaping the lives and structures of an entire region. It is driven by invisible pressures from miles below, expressed through rising gases, shifting rock and breathing earth. From cracked asphalt to evacuated homes, the landscape tells a story of a caldera that refuses to sleep. For scientists, Campi Flegre is a complex natural laboratory. For its residents, it's a fragile home perched on an ancient, restless beast. The most pressing question remains unanswered. When will a major disaster occur? Despite well-rehearsed evacuation plans and early warning systems, the possibility that the volcano could erupt with minimal notice cannot be ruled out. The convergence of data strongly suggests that the time to prepare is now, not later. Campi Flegrae may appear tranquil to the untrained eye, but beneath the ground a volatile system is stirring. Whether it culminates in a massive eruption or a series of explosive phreatic events, the region remains one of the most closely monitored volcanic zones on Earth, and with good reason. The signs are not just mounting, they are demanding attention. Preparedness isn't panic, awareness saves lives. If this story moved you, informed you, or opened your eyes to a danger hiding in plain sight, please don't keep it to yourself. Like this video, share it with others, and subscribe for more in-depth coverage of Earth's most powerful and unpredictable forces. Together we can stay informed and stay ready. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay curious, and we'll see you in the next one.